An incredible discovery has just been made in a dark tunnel 100 feet underneath a field in France. You were looking at graffiti left behind by a soldier during World War I. This is just one of thousands of inscriptions made in the trenches nearly a century ago. And joining me now to explain some of this is Todd Leopold, a producer for CNN.com. Uh, Todd, this is fascinating. Uh, how is this found? And tell us about these inscriptions. It really is amazing. Uh, they apparently have been frozen in time that even though these were known to the villagers, no one has really gone in and done a chronicle of all the material here. And there are artifacts and graffiti from thousands of men dating from about 1916, 1917. Uh, there's an American doctor and photographer who was allowed in and he has taken photographs and has put it on a portfolio on the web. So what does this tell us? I see it looks like it says 9th Battalion. It looks like it says Australians. On, is that right? Uh, yeah. what, what does this tell us about who these soldiers were? There, most of these soldiers, uh, he's, uh, uh, Gusky has found about 1,800 names, and about 40% of those were Australians. Uh, another number were British. The Americans didn't enter the war. Today is actually the 98th anniversary of us declaring war and entering World War I, so there are very few Americans. But basically, these were men who were saying, I was here. I mean, World War I was a real meat grinder. Uh, the Battle of the Somme took place about 50 miles away. It was probably one of the bloodiest battles in human history. And this was a way they were kind of slightly sheltered, but you just never knew what the next day was going to bring. Yeah, and so this was their refuge from uh, being uh, above ground, obviously, right? It was for safety. Right, exactly. And they turned it into uh, practically, well, residential is probably stretching it a bit much, but it was certainly protective. Yeah, it looks a little like that. Now it's a bit of a time capsule. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, Todd Leopold, thank you for that. Thank you.